hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we are updating our form and now the time is to update this in the database so let's go here and go to the update method in the controller and here we are going to update our stuff so first we are going to accept the to do uh, id and checking that this to do id is there or not so we can check this directly like uh, to do equal to do and then here we are going to find and uh, to do it's uh, coming from this request object and containing this uh, to do and uh, what is the name of this to do id so let me show you that we are uh, receiving this so let me go to the edit that we are receiving this to do id right so we are finding this id and if we did not find this we are going to throw this same exception like this right and if we uh, find this so we are going to do what so we are going to update this so here you need to get its instance and then call update method on it and then add this like this so here you need to uh, make your title and then what is the title so we, we are getting this title from the input field and uh, then it's a description and then what is the description so description would be this uh, description so it's a description and then is it completed or not so we need to add one more field here is it completed or not because we are going to update this one so let me add this uh, here so it's a uh, uh, bootstrap m4 like this oops uh, make this like this okay and this i'm going to uh, create a label first and then this label is uh, for uh, to do uh, you can say that status and in the status you can show a select box and the in the select box we are going to make this uh, name is completed and uh, uh, let me add this a class of form control so it's a bootstrap class and here i need to add uh, first uh, an empty option so it's uh, disabled by default and selected it say that uh, select uh, option right and in the next row i'm going to add this so like oops value would be one completed and then what is the next so next i'm going to uh, make this so uh, incomplete or you can say that uh, whatever you want okay incomplete and this would be a zero right and then this is complete is uh, you can you need to get this is complete value here so request we are getting this from this incomplete and then update this and then after this update we are going to uh, print a session so let me get this session oops so let me get this session i'm not going to write this anymore okay session and then i'm going to also redirect this so redirect this on this index right so go here and paste this here so to do updated successfully and then we are going to make also alert success I'm not going to display any info and some others because i'm shooting this for demonstration purposes so if you want to display it to uh, like info so you can display like uh, this so, so let me go to the top and here you can create this like another info so i will also shoot this video that uh, how you can display this uh, like uh, 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 you can call them from the global file so i will shoot this in the uh, in a, uh, my uh, laravel advanced features so here let me make this info so it will display the info color okay so go back okay so now i'm going to click on this uh, update right so it's going to uh, make this uh, create laravel video I'm going to create a laravel video and update this 
so it's going to update and it says that integration is completed cannot be null so it's going null why because we did not assign this value and we need to also uh, here we need to also add this in the validations but you can also you can add this while you are on so let's go here and why it's not uh, adding this uh, not this one go to the edit and it's uh, is uh, completed is completed it's good why it's not adding this so let's go here is completed and uh, let me die down this value why it's throwing this that it's not null because it's coming null from the from there okay it's null because we did not refresh our web page and did not selected any value so remove this diadem because it's going to work i'm very sure so i have uh, created this uh, i'm going to create a uh, laravel video and here i'm also going to add this laravel laravel oops laravel and then here i'm going to select completed and click on this update so now this status is also updated in this here and yes to do is updated successfully and this status is also changed that completed great so we successfully updated our to do so now the time is to uh, work on this delete so i will shoot this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye